Audio check. Audio check. Audio check.
Good afternoon, Hawks. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me have your attention. Thank you, six traders. This is your first awards assembly, so we have to go over some procedural expectations for you all. I know right before break, you had a pep assembly. This is a very different type of assembly. That was craziness and loud as you can get. This is a little more respect, a lot more respectful. We're here to honor your classmates, yourselves, for hard work during first quarter, academically, behaviorally, and also if you're here every day, we honor you for perfect attendance. And then we have some special awards to give out at the end. The way this works, ladies and gentlemen, is for honor roll and high honor roll, your name will be called You'll stand where you're seated. Uh, we'll wait till all the names have been called and then we'll give you all a round of applause. We hold the applause to the very end. Same thing for high honors. You get your certificates tomorrow in your advisory base. Sixth graders, this is a very key element for your parents. You think this is just a piece of paper, but it's very critical that that makes it home to your parents. If you get one of those in your advisory base, your advisory base teacher will I touched something I wasn't supposed to, sorry. Actually, in the last assembly, I said it was just my effervescent personality coming out through this speakers. No, it doesn't really work. Um, so you need to make sure those certificates get home to your parents. Uh, 4.0 students will come down on stage to receive your certificate. Perfect attendance students will come down to get your certificate. Same thing, we'll, your name will be called, you'll come down and we'll give you a rousing round of applause at the very end of all the names. For our special awards, teachers have some special things to say about each of you. Um, and so after that name is called, you'll come down also and receive your special award. Uh, is that everything? Oh, thank you. And let's do some introductions. But first, I want to say thank you to all of our parents. I know maybe this is your first time with a sixth grader at Old Dell Middle School. You also will get used to this assembly. We're streaming it live and it's saved live, there'll be a, um, a link on our website that you can direct any family members or uh, just share that on Facebook or social media with whoever couldn't be here today, but we really appreciate those of you that could make it here in person. It's really difficult, it's kind of in the middle of a work day for sure for you all. It's the end of our school day, so it's convenient for us. Um, now some quick introductions. I am Michael Fester. I'm the principal at Old Vale Middle School. And my partner in crime, the illustrious, the famous, the wonderful Miss Becky Johnson. She's our, my assistant principal and your assistant principal. The, the woman, and you might have met her around bench time or maybe you went to a, a screening with her, um, but she does everything testing, but she also organizes all of this. I didn't touch anything, I promise. Uh, there, it went away. Um, she organizes all of this so that I could just step in from running around campus and literally, literally, literally just take the run with the assembly. Now, the person that's trying to fix this technology issue and who streams this is Elaine Murphy. She's our site tech here on campus. Give both those ladies a round of applause. Thank you. And now for our teachers. How amazing are these people? Let's give it up for these teachers. Mr. Nelson teaches social studies, I mean science and math. Mr. Gokong teaches science in sixth grade. Mrs. Evans teaches language arts in sixth grade. We got Mrs. Kugler teaches math. Mrs. Wilson Hall teaches social studies. We've got Miss Garcia down there teaches science. Miss Mayo teaches social studies. We got Miss Postaway teaches social studies and language arts. Mrs. Dobbin teaches language arts. We got Mrs. Peglo who does everything. She teaches math and language arts. And then, of course, on the end, Mrs. Hicks teaches math. 
There we go. Did, did Mrs. Hicks just do something? Mrs. Hicks. These, some of these parents have never been exposed to a sixth grade awards assembly, and that's their first impression. Did you do a, a dab or something wacky like that? That's so two years ago. We're probably going to have to have her removed by the end of this assembly, just warning you. All right, students, bring it down. Remember our expectations. This is a respectful assembly. We're going to honor our students. At this time, Ms. Mayo is going to come up and read our honor roll recipients. Hold it near the bottom. You're good. Let me just make sure. On it. All right. High uh, or no honor roll. GPA of 3.0 to 3.49. Madison Acosta, Cambria Anderson, Braden Angiolini, Ricardo Arajo, Samuel Auge, Nicholas Baca, Bradley Bas Basham, Basham, Vanessa Beans. Zane Beeb, Nathaniel Bowdy, Angel Borlier, Emily Brunner, Clark Chu, Vincent Collimore, Unaleska Kranz, Harmony Davis, Kylie Donnelly, Justin Downs, Summer Fenn, Christopher Ferguson, Lincoln French, Bella Gomez, Nathaniel Gonzior, Seth Hardcastle, McKinley Harry, Emma Hawks, John Hawks, Alexander Hernandez, Anthony Ives, Adam Jansen, Jairon Johnson, Emmett Kopke, Cheyenne Lewis, Alex Lonsway, Cameron Lopez, Taryn McFarland, Ezekiel Meinziak, Elian Mahung Mahunga, Sean Rell, Ihi Reyes. I thought it was a cell phone. Kaylee Richardson, Jayla Roberson, Raiden. Great, closer. Braden Roca, Victoria Rojas, Abigail Scott, Jason Smith, Paolo Tadis, Hunter Trammell, Anthony Trotter, Angus Tyler, Aiden Valencia, Delani Valencia, Marina Walls, Anea Wilson, and Kenyon Zimmerman. Give all those students a big round of applause. Awesome job, guys. That's really hard work in your first quarter of middle school, so congratulations. All right, Mrs. Kugler is going to read the high honor uh, award recipients. Just as a reminder, those are students with a 3.5 to 3.9. Shh, quiet. 3.5 to 3.9 GPA. Tyler Adams. Ruby Alvarez, JJ Anaya, Matthew Anderson, Aspen Armenta. And as a reminder, please stand when your name is called and stay standing. Thank you. Sebastian Auger, Rose Bartlett, Noah Berry, Joshua Bowman, Garrett Benedict, Tanner Boykman, Noah Browns, Natalie Birch, Damian Bird, Jake Canterbury. Camden Carter, Jahir Castillo, Aaron Castro, Caleb Clark, Lillian Coyle, Alexis Crace, Trinity Danjo, Yvonne Diaz, Grant Dickinson, Lily Dipasupel, Bailey Ditchin, Malachi Donahue, Xavier Duran, Matthew Derman, Damian Elliott, AJ, AJ Escobedo, Bowden Eustace, William Evans, Nate Florio, DJ Foster, Julissa Galvin, Michaela Garcia, Troy Geyer, Grace Gurley, Frank Gilbert, Kayla Glass, Tyler Hamby, Addison Harvey, Briasia Hawkins, Sarah Heredia, Brett Hodgden, Christopher Hoffman, Sam Hoffman, Hannah Holmes, Elena Hauser, Jamie Hughes, Sam, Samuel Janton, Ella Johnson, Rihanna Johnson, Donovan Jones, 
Angela Kalins, Nolan King, Aaron Kluver, McKenna Krieger, Alex Cruzy, Jaden Gruss, Carson Leilafu, Riley Lomuller, Philip Lopez, Brinley Loveland, Logan Lundgren, Eva Martinez, Zoe Martinez, William Marks, Elena Miranda, Sophia Molina, Joseph Morales, Elijah Mosier, Nathan Maurer, Jude Mesquite, Alejandro Padilla, Linnea Parker, Austin Pacheca, Quinn Postalweight, Giselle Quintana, Aliyah Ramirez, Weston Raymond, Peyton Reese, Bradley Reed, Jonathan Rivera, Michael Rojas, Jaden Romick, Ian Roop, Corelli Rosano, Tim Royce, Sadie Rust, Jaden Ryberg, Julian Santa Cruz, Thor Schultz, Ayla Scott, Diesel Segura, Justin Sheehy, Alexander Stabil, Mason Stewart, Peyton Stimmel Smith, Bella Stowe, Grace Stubbins, Sam Tavernisi, Caden Tepper, Garrett Tews, Ian Tosi, Rowan Sosi, Michaela Valenzuela, Caden Walker, Gabrielle Wallen, Tinsley Walter, Aubrey Werner, Joshua Win Stanley, and Anna Yurkovich. Congratulations. Wow. I've I've been here for uh, four years. It's my fourth sixth grade class to come through, and that is by far uh, connected with about connected with these honors with distinction certificates, that is the most that I've ever seen in our sixth grade class. So give yourselves a round of applause. There is, uh, I wanna just emphasize, there is nothing easy about middle school. You're transitioning from most of you, just one teacher a day to some of you, maybe six to seven teach different teachers a day, different personalities, uh, a larger campus, uh, older students on campus with you, pre-adolescence, and all the fun that comes along with that, and you're figuring it all out and still trying your best to be academically successful. So we under, understand it, we acknowledge it, and we appreciate your efforts, and, and thank you to your parents for supporting you through this first quarter. At this time, Ms. Johnson will read the names of our quarter one Honors with Distinction Award winners. Those are students that earned a 4.0, that's straight A's on the report card. Also, they have to maintain uh, high citizenship grades in all their classes in order to receive this recognition. So it's both behavioral and academic. And there's a lot of students that are gonna be coming up on stage. We're really excited about this. So Ms. Johnson will read those names at this time. Yeah, I was like, what are you trying to change it on me? Sorry. Hi, sixth grade. Good afternoon. Hi. That was a lot better than seventh and eighth grade. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So if you hear your name, you're actually going to come down. You'll shake Mr. Fester's hand and then you're going to hang out up here to get recognized at the end. All right. Elena Allen. Oh, hold applause till the end. Sorry, I did not say that. Joshua Amico. Liliana Beige. Elizabeth Barrett. Amaris Biancuzo. Brady Bodwell. Parker Bonney. Zachary Brian Linger, Arthur Brock, Kayla Broderick, Colin Buck, Paige Bullis. 
Michelle Campos. Logan Carlton. Sophia Kassebaum. Charles Jasper Chu. Brooklyn Clapp. Daniel Clark. Caden Clark. Jessica Cook. Alexa Cruz. Elizabeth Culp. Jordan Eckner. Lexi Elam. Ryder Elam. Hayden Escobar. Thomas Espinosa. Jacob Flores. Jordan Foster. Logan Foster. Haley Glass. Amber Hancock. Kate Hancock. Kylie Hartman. Lauren Hartzell. Marley Hawk. Daisy Hebden. Macy Henry. Devin Hernandez. Cameron Hernandez. Grayson Hester. Aislinn Rose Heston. Leah Hicks. Brady Hogue. Trinity Holbert. Daniel Olguin. Chloe Hotchkiss. Natalie Johnson. Shh. Zachariah Jones. Brooke Canyon. Finley Carey. Caleb Cass. Alyssa Korth. Andrew Krause. Lindsay Kugler. Brayden Lemus. Faislin Lomuller. Kira Lundy. Tristan Moret. Thank you guys for being patient. Evan Mayfield. Adeline McFadden. Matthew Mercer. Griffin Monet. Yes. Allison Mullen.
Joshua Park. Yelena Peraza. Sophie Ramos. Sarah Rawlinson. Louis Roberts. Yas Jasmine Rochelle. Cheyenne Sarab. Kenny Sharp. Avery Smith. Legend Smith. Tristan Smith. Riley Sonico. Eric Sotello. Caroline Tricky. Liam Tyler. Paxton Vale. James Van Hus. Cameron Vargas. Maya Vickery. Reese Wagner. Evan Walker. Sean Walton. Stephanie Waybright. Jonas Swirly. Madeline Williams. Luke Winstrig. All right, wow, that was the most names I've ever had to read. Great job. Round of applause. Wow. What time is it? Oh. <clears throat> All right, ladies and gentlemen, please get situated quietly. Thank you for your respectful enthusiasm and hugs and high fives. That's what we like to see. Great job. All right, at this time, I'm going to read the names of our perfect attendance award recipients for the first quarter. Shh. Quiet down. When I call your name, you'll come down on stage and get your certificate from Miss Johnson. Here we go. Oscar, and some of these are the first time I'm saying them aloud, so sorry. Oscar Alboran. Ruby Alvarez. Cambria Anderson. Matthew Anderson. Ricardo Araujo, Sebastian Auger, Nicholas Baca, Liliana Beige, Daniel Ballard,
Elizabeth Barrett, Noah Berry, Bradley Basham, Zane Bibi, Angel Berlier, Jacob Canterbury, Jahir Castillo, Charles Chu, Brooklyn Clapp, Caleb Clark, Lillian Coyle, Jessica Cook, Unaleska Kranz, Alexa Cruz, Elizabeth Culp, Grant Dickinson, Malachi Donahue, Is he not here? All right. Inside, I mean, some of you that might have been at a different assembly before know how excited Mr. Fester gets when I'm giving a perfect attendance award and they're not here to receive it. It's just, I mean, I'm a middle school principal. It's the little things in life that make me happy and the irony of that every time gets me. It's fun. I, I hope he's okay. I hope he's, I hope everything's okay with him. I'm not wishing him ill will. It's just amazing. I'm trying to give him an award for perfect attendance. Matthew Derman, Jordan Eckner, Damian Elliott, Alejandro Encinas, William Evans, Troy Geyer, Bella Gomez, Nathaniel Goncior, Tyler Hamby, Amber Hancock, Seth Hardcastle, Kylie Hartman, Marley Hauk, Emma Hawks, Jonathan Hawks, Macy Henry, Alexander Hernandez, Augustine Hernandez, Devin Hernandez, Grayson Hester, Leah Hicks, Brett Hodgden, Daniel Olguin, Chloe Hotchkiss, Anthony Ives, Brooke Canyer, Aaron Kluver, Alex Cruz, Lindsay Kugler, Carson Lelafu, no, nope, right here, Brooke? yep, it's Brooke, Faithlin Lohmuller, Riley Lohmuller, Logan Lundgren, Kyra Lundy, Tristan Marat, Zoe Martinez, Adeline McFadden, Jacob McManus, Ezekiel Minziak, Elijah Mosier, 
Allison Mullen. Josh Park. Sorry, Joshua Park. Yelena Peraza. Aliyah Ramirez. Sophie Ramos. So I'm going to stall a little bit and just tell you how the chaos that is happening up here because we don't know all the sixth graders' names yet, even after a quarter, but we do have over 300. And so Ms. Johnson is really being put to the test here if they come up out of order. So that was my stalling to give her a chance to catch up. Peyton Reese. No, you're, you're doing wonderful. They don't even know. Lewis Roberts. Raiden Rocha. Jasmine Rochelle. Ayla Scott, Avery Smith, Jason Smith, Legend Smith, Tristan Smith, Riley Sonico, Peyton Stimmel Smith, Isabella Stow. Grace Stubbins, Garrett Tews, Caroline Tricky, Liam Tyler, Cameron Vargas, Tinsley Walter, Jonas Worley. And Jonas. My name is Jonas. All right, so all these kids are better than I was first quarter. I missed a day. Sorry, so you guys are amazing. Give it up for all these students that were here every single day that first quarter. Awesome job, guys. All right, have a seat. All right. Students, head to your seats quietly. We have a number of awards we need to give out quickly. Mr. Nelson's going to get us started as soon as you guys are all seated. You're doing a great job and you're all being super patient after a long day. All right, here's Mr. Nelson with our first award. You guys gotta be really patient. You're hang in there, we're almost done. Okay, here's the cool awards coming up. We have a, this one's called the Vail Act Award. <clears throat> this special award goes to a person who is respectful, trustworthy, cares about others, and is responsible in their actions all the time. This awesome young man is always demonstrating this in class and around the school. He's friendly to all around, he's helpful, he's hardworking, and he is truly dedicated to being of service to those around him. And we want to thank you, uh, Mr. Charles Chu, for all the ways you act toward others. Come on up, buddy. Okay, so also on the Wolves team, um, with only uh, a smaller group, we only do about two awards, so we have one more. Um, and our special award is for academic excellence. The Wolves team had uh, many hardworking and high achieving students to look at and determine who would receive the academic excellence award for quarter one. 
This word is important because we are here at school to learn and work hard. And this person that we chose, um, this quarter shows they value learning and daily give 100% in class. I know in my classes, this, person work, uh, this person's work is always neat, well thought out, on time, and shows they care about school and their grades. We are really happy to recognize this young lady for all the effort she puts in for quarter one and overcoming any obstacles that came her way. The Wolves proudly award Miss Kayala Broderick the Academic Excellence Award. I have some strong leaders in this grade level that I can rely on every time, no matter what. And I see you all and I appreciate you. Thank you. So we're going to switch over to the Fox team now. And um, I'm going to talk about kindness. Aesop said, no act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. Kindness is something that stands out when you see it. And if you think about it, that's kind of sad because it would be amazing to live in a world where kindness is so normal that it doesn't stand out. To live in a world where mean comments or harsh looks or actions were rare, that would be ideal. The person we have chosen to receive the Kindness Award doesn't set out to make kindness more apparent. She is kind without even thinking about it. It is her character. I've witnessed this person whispering a comforting comment to a table mate when that peer was feeling defeated. I have felt the climate of the room improve just from her positive attitude when she enters it. She doesn't know this, but her kind smiles and warm greetings have helped turn my days around. What many students don't realize is that we teachers are often made better by watching the example of certain students. Michaela Valenzuela, you inspire me in many ways, but most of all, Thank you for giving me an example of kindness that inspires me. I am very humbled and pleased to give you the Kindness Award for quarter one. We are so proud of our Fox team, amazing young people. I get to um, present the GRIT Award. So Ralph Marston shares that what you do today can improve all of your tomorrows. Middle school is a time period where this quote definitely rings true. Students take more self-initiative and develop study and work habits that will carry through college. At Old Vale Middle School, we celebrate the GRIT Award to acknowledge a student that has intentionally made strides today to achieve better tomorrows. The student that was nominated for the quarter two grit award from the Fox team has made purpose choices to be a leader and an academic all-star. The student attends and participates in class. He volunteers to share his work at the board and he produces quality work in every class. This student walked onto the middle school campus and made a choice to work hard in all of his classes. The added bonus is that he does it with a smile on his face. Old Vale Middle School is a better place for all of us because we have the pleasure of knowing our GRIT recipient, Vincent Colomar. All right, I get to do the, the pleasure of doing the Academic Excellence Award. 
Academic excellence is defined as the ability to perform, achieve, and excel in scholastic activities. To achieve this level, you must be dedicated, responsible, and most of all, determined not to let anything stand in the way of your goals. The student that has been chosen for this award exemplifies this true dedication to her studies. She displayed distingu distinguished performance in the classroom. Each day she enters the classroom with a smile and is consistently one of the first students to have her materials ready and her work started. She continually produces the highest quality of work and always meets the timeline. She is described by all of her teachers as having a superior work ethic. This has resulted in the su successful achievement of her quarter one goal of straight A's. As her advisory based teacher, I am proud to say that our academic excellence award goes to Sophie Ramos. The next award is the Act Statement Award. According to famous English poet William Wordsworth, the best portion of a good, good man's life is his little nameless unremembered acts of kindness and love. In the Vale schools, we have certain expectations of our students' behavior. We know these expectations because they are written in our Act Statement. In the Vale schools, we are respectful and trustworthy, care about each other, and take responsibility. This student was unanimously chosen by the Fox team to receive this award this quarter because he truly embodies our act statement. He has wonderful manners, shows his care and concern for others, and is very responsible. I say the true measure of a man is not how tall he stands, but instead what lies in his heart. Zach Breinlinger, because you are a kind, caring, and loving soul, you have been chosen for our Act Statement Award. Congratulations. Extra Mile Award. No one ever obtains success by simply doing what is required of him. It is the amount of excellence of what is over and above the required that determines the greatness of ultimate distinction by Charles Francis Adams. When we as a team decided to uh, choose who was going to get the Extra Mile Award, we were thinking of a student who never settles for just okay work, but a student who would always go above and beyond what's expected. This student always tries her very best and is always asking for ways to do work that is excellent. This student doesn't just excel at doing great work. She also goes above and beyond to help her peers. She is kind and considerate and always lends a helping hand to anyone who sits by her in class. It is with great pride that I present the Extra Mile Award for quarter one to Jordan Eckner. Okay, we're gonna move on to the Coyotes team. And I have the pleasure of doing two awards. We're gonna start with Academic Excellence. Our recipient for Academic Excellence is a very res responsible, motivated, and passionate young lady. She comes to school every day with a smile and an excitement for learning and a dedication for going above and beyond. She pays close attention to details and makes sure that her daily work is accurate and of the utmost quality. This student sets a positive example for her peers. She works hard not only for herself, but to help her peers as well. She is dedicated to helping her classmates succeed and grow in every way she can. 
She usually can be found helping her teachers with odd jobs, like helping me make sure my Chromebooks are put away, thank you, or making sure her classmates understand the assignment. Her work ethic and focus on doing well is an inspiration to all of her classmates. She comes to class to participate and works hard to improve. The student brings a joyful, positive energy to those around her and encourages others to participate in what is happening in and out of the classroom. For these reasons, the recipient of the Coyote Academic Excellent Trophy Award is our birthday girl, Paige Bullis. Okay, school spirit. School spirit is taking pride in being a part of your school's community. It's taking time to support your school's integrity and believing that its good name is a direct reflection upon yourself. School spirit is in many ways the heart of the school. School spirit helps foster a sense of belonging among students and staff who are part of the school. A strong sense of school spirit makes staff and students feel more invested in their school, which makes them happier and motivates them to work harder and help each other out. Anytime you participate in anything that is involved with the school, you're demonstrating school spirit and doing so in a positive manner. You don't have to be on the basketball team or football team or baseball team or any other team to show pride for how much you enjoy being a part of the school. Being a member of the chess club or even representing your school at CME is showing pride and, pride and spirit for the school that you attend. The student the Coyotes team has chosen for the school spirit award shows us daily her pride in OBMS. Whether or not she's wearing a school shirt with a matching headband or getting ready to celebrate her birthday tomorrow, a perfect example of school spirit is Amaris Biancuzo. And for the ACT Award, many children and adults in the Vail community have the ACT statement memorized and can inform you that in the Vail schools, we are respectful and trustworthy, care about each other and take responsibility. It is a privilege to teach in a district and at a school where so many people live this statement. The Coyote teachers have chosen a student who epitomizes the act statement and its attributes. This student is consistent in being trustworthy along with having a strong sense of accountability and responsibility needed with all the essential characteristics of the act statement. By doing so, it reflects on this student the family members who have guided him and the OBMS staff who teach him. This part is important as a result of one's will to showcase persistent good actions and behavior. The student selected by the Coyote teachers has a moral standard, takes initiative and goes well beyond and above in helping others as needed. We are happy to give the act toward to Louise Roberts. The Extra Mile Award. No one ever obtains success by simply doing what is required of him. It is the amount and excellence of what is over and above the required that determines the greatness of ultimate distinction. When we decide who we want to give the extra mile award to, we think of someone that never settles for work that is just okay. We think of someone who always ensures their work is their very best every single time. They go over and beyond what is expected because they want to do better than the average. The person we chose gives 100% to their work in all classes. 
She also goes the extra mile with all her peers. Many times I see her helping her peers in class, setting them up for success. It goes beyond the classroom as I watch her interact with her peers in the courtyard. I've never seen a day when she isn't smiling. She is also the one who will go and pick up trash in the courtyard, even though it wasn't hers. It is my pleasure to present the Extra Mile Award for quarter one to Hannah Holmes. Today I will be presenting the Kindness Award. This student was selected because of the kindness shown toward her and the kindness she shares with others. Afternoon classes can be tough in sixth grade because teachers and students are exhausted. Right before lit skills on many days throughout quarter one, the student has stopped to give high fives and hugs to the, rows of, to the row of students lined up at the ramp. The way she cheers up each student rejuvenates me and warms my heart. She shows her Old Vale pride as part of the cheerleading team. I've been privileged to see her cheer out on the football field and at the pep assembly. One of my favorite moments from this school year with this student was singing the decimal song when she ran up to the front of the math classroom because it was her turn to choose a variation. She chose to sing with all our hearts and to make a heart shape with our hands in front of our eyes. It was a touching moment and reminded me of what matters most. This student is also in my advisory based class. Sometimes she comes in and announces, hi friends. Everyone replies with happy hellos. What a great way to start off the school day. Her smile and her kindness are contagious. It is my honor to present the Coyote Team Kindness Award to Trinity Holbert. That did me in right there. Um, uh, thank you again, parents, for being here. Let, let's give a let's give them a narrow round of applause. We're not going to make them stay up here all night. Great work by all of these students. Great work. You guys have a seat. All right, students. Parents, thank you so much again for coming out, family members, taking time in the middle of your day. Students, let me have your attention, please. Uh, we will, your teachers will dismiss the uh, students by rows. Uh, parents, we encourage you to stick around, grab your kid, and take some pictures out here on the floor. Uh, we're nearing the end of the school day, so they'll be fine to either leave with you, or if you want to just, if they have practice, or send them to the bus for some reason because you got better things to do. Whatever you want to do, that's your call. Um, but we want you to take pictures with them because we're really proud of them and I'm sure you are all as well. Thank you very much for coming out. Students, hang tight. Parents, come on down onto the floor. <laughs> 